We are here at Chiller Theater for the 20th annual Chiller Theater convention. And yes, it's Halloween, and no, Frankie D is not here. So that means it's going to be a hell of a show this time. We're going to take a look around and see who we can find. Follow me. You give me hope and consolation. You give me strength to carry on. Is, am I saying it right? Yes, it's Schiller. How many yes. times have you done this before? Oh, I forgot where we were for a second. <laughs> you see what drugs will do to you? <laughs> Frankie D from The Real Radio Show is here with... What's that? He is going to be the up and coming new Easter Bunny this year. Wait a second, wait a second. No, no, no. Hold on. No, 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 no. I know Easter You can't be the Easter Bunny. I know Easter Bunny. Because people won't believe in you. People, I know. don't believe in you. I know Easter Bunny. You know why? Blackdown Polish. Hey, well, wait a second. Easter Bunny is supposed to have whiskers. I've never seen one with a beard. He's got whiskers. You want, you want to touch my carrot? Huh? <laughs> hey, you are the children's star. You, 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 you want to play with my eggs? You are <laughs> feeling the black nail polish. You want to play with my eggs? This guy, come on. Wait a you second. You got some eggs hidden somewhere before. <laughs> come on. You know you have. This guy's not going to get a word in because he belongs with that perverted clown we did before. <laughs> I had a feeling about this one. This was not going to go good. Okay, so have you met any kids today? Oh, yes! I got some babysitting jobs and some parties and magic tricks. I have handcuffs. Hey, Chuck, all our celebrity friends, before we start the interview, we love to give them the official real radio show, Bulldog. Well, that's good, because we're starting a reality show called Road Dogs. Oh, nice. That'll go good there. Nice. Yo, yo. That's sweet. See how that worked out? We had that plan. <laughs> if you think you get his back, you're not. So. Frankie D from the Real Radio Show has an exclusive with Santa Claus at the Chiller Convention. I'm so excited for with Santa. Santa, is the Easter Bunny really overrated? No, not at all. No. And, and, matter of fact, he's a good friend of mine. He's a good friend of yours. I didn't know they were good friends. This is an honor to have the Real Radio Show official school yes. talk. It's paper train. Now kiss its ass. Yes. Let me explain <laughs> something to you, okay? Uh, okay, let me explain something to you. All right, go ahead. Wait, hold on. I'm not going to finish. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He even looks like you. Look at that face. Just zoom on that face. Yeah. You see what you get for 99 cents? Yeah. Would you okay, shut up? Come on. Come on. Right, real radio show, right? Only on the real radio show. Hold on, man. <laughs> hey, Henry, I think we should put his ass in one of those genie bottles. I mean, we put that it off to a last. You see, that's the reason we open with him. They open with him, he opens for me because I can speak fast without tripping over my own pants. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, no, that would be your third. No, don't be your, don't be your third chin, you fall over, okay? Okay, no, you don't want to talk. Okay, you know, it could be no, worse. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Okay, now it's on. <laughs> It could be worse. No, no, no. Yes, it no, could. No. It could be good. I could be a Chinese yeah. phone book. I'd have over. If I was a Chinese, okay. no, 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 no. If I was a Chinese phone book, I'd have over 10,000 Chinese. If you were a Chinese phone book, you would be the entire fucking country. All our celebrity friends, we always give them the real radio show official bulldog. Oh, this is so cool. I have a French bulldog. You really? I do. Maybe they could be friends or something. Well, yeah. if, I don't know. She'll probably do some very nasty things to it, though. <laughs> she, I don't know where she learned that from. Oh, Jose being on, on in Oz. Uh, I just want to know, were you, did you were you new? Uh, no, that 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 was edited out. You know, uh, unfortunately. Uh, are you are you, you tell me you want to see Jose new? Is that what you say right now? That's why his chicks watch Oz. <laughs> we, I mean, you know, every scene some like hot looking guy naked. Jose, she wants to see you naked. I don't even want to see me naked. I don't think she wants to see me naked. <laughs> Uh, there is a scientific explanation for modern hauntings. Those old, old houses tend to have bad wiring. And bad wiring emits electromagnetic waves, which stimulate the right temporal lobe, which create a sense of presence. This added with the suggestion of an old house, which you would think is haunted, um, causes the illusion of a haunting. When I was on Another World, my first show, I used to, be, you know, the, the, um, on a soap opera, they have these sound mics that they re have like a telescopic reel thing down there. And I would say to the guys, I'm like, yo, yo, bring that thing down here. And they'd be like, oh, oh. And they'd reel this huge Turn sound boom down to my ass. And I'd be like, <laughs> I see that coming. Like, oh. 
I'm babysitting Charlene Tilton over there with the witch hat on. Here she is giving me this shit to wear. <laughs> okay, telling me, oh, Mario, you gotta wear this today. Yes, okay. I think you look good in this. Oh, shut up, look at talking. Is that okay, Steve? Yeah. Frankie D from the Real Radio Show. He's still talking. He won't shut up. Are we rolling? We're rolling. We're rolling. I, well, that's I, why I started talking up. because I don't really want I'm to hear what you got to say. I'm not interested. I'm going to stick the dog after him in two minutes. <laughs> Do I have to work with him right now? No, okay. I get a dog? Well, get this a dog, is, man. Jose, we're doing this to all our celebrity friends. We're giving them this bulldog, this plush bulldog here. And it is the logo and the trademark of the real radio show. And I get a dog from me. And you get a yeah, Frank, he was the model for this. I get a, you know. I wasn't the yeah. model. He was the he's more of the bulldog looking guy. Look, faces only a mother can love. There you go. <laughs> we got faces for radio. There you go. All oh, three of us. <laughs> faces for radio. Oh man, that's I, messed stuff. I got my I got my dog though. I there got my go. dog. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna give you the real radio show official bulldog. Okay, our mascot on the real radio show. Show. Okay. It was modeled after Frank. Yeah. It was modeled after you. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. I mean, you girls have performed with a lot of big, major acts like the band Wasp. How was that experience for you girls? That was a blast. That was a lot of fun. They talk at the same time. That's so cool. You know. <laughs> they're in. They're in sync. <laughs> no, that was that was a, that was a, a blast. Uh, we played with Chris's sister and stuff, and hopefully AJ will be here today. But um, yeah, we've been lucky to play with some awesome bands. And how was the experience for you? It was incredible, man. We went to Europe with Wasp, and it was uh, probably the best time I've ever had in my life. You're a troublemaker out of the group, aren't you? She's a troublemaker out of the group. Uh, is there something up with her? I don't know. She's got those eyes. I when she's talking, you know, you gotta be careful of these guys. Frankie D from the Real Radio Show is here with. Kimberly J. Brown. And my co-host. Henry. What is that little thing, Henry? What, what, was that, what, what, what is that little hand? What the hell is that all about? Henry? That, 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 Did you get that, Kimberly? I think it was an expression of personality. Yeah, I think. That's what an expression is. With all our celebrity friends, before we do an interview, I love to give them a symbol of the Real Radio Show. This is our official bulldog of the Real Radio Show, and this is a gift for you, Rich. Most of all, I like to thank the Academy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now we got presented with a Bulldog Award. No, oh, this is the first. This is the Bulldog Award. This is the first. There's a similarity here. What is oh, that? <laughs> that is messed up. That is so messed up. My co-host would have loved that one. Doesn't it look like him a little bit? It's got a lot of teddy bear in it. Yeah, there you go. That's a thank you. Yeah. Well, Henry's like a teddy bear. Yeah. This is not, uh, it's not anatomically correct. <laughs> But it is paper trains. It's supposed to be. It is paper trains. It's paper trains. Good. Well, that's the kind of pet I like. There you go. Yeah. He's got he's got a drooping eyelid too. There you go. He's liking it, John. You can fix it. You can fix it. Hello. <laughs> My name is Oh Reese. Whoever came with her own animal. Quick thing, we're gonna get out of here. We yeah. know you're busy. Yeah. Can you give us one like that fish that's right? Uh, or that like copyright? Would you? Uh, uh, what would you say for me? Fish. French. Hey man, that's not French. No. <laughs> that's a little discipline. Yes, he does. He enjoys it. Nancy, I do not need discipline. I'm a very good guy. I don't know about that. I'm not so sure. You're not so sure. You look like the type who enjoys to be disciplined. I think maybe. Yeah. Might have to get that black outfit on tonight. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Frankie D from The Real Radio Show is here with... Erwin Keyes. And... Henry. And we have... Mr. Keys, we have the Real Radio Show official bulldog. We give it to all our celebrity friends. It's like a little gift, like like a welcome, like a welcome on the air type of thing. Oh, well, thank you. Wow, he's cool. I he, love him. Who he's cool? even paper trained. Oh, yep. oh, is he? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is my real weapon. That's all. That that is the real weapon, Jason. These guys are great. Really, stick with them. Okay, tune in. The Real Radio Show Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on the real. Or else.
That's it. Oh, well, she's gonna come after you. That's right. Look out. And she's gonna wear the black outfit too, right, Angie? That's, That's right. right. I'm getting it ready. Getting those tights ready. Those uh -huh. guard belts, the whole thing. Oh yes, baby. Only on the Real Radio Show.